Hello people dude and welcome back to another review. Uh, this time we're reviewing film Alien 3. So if you are continuing with your alien watching movies, then you'll know that Ripley, Hicks, and Newt all survived in Aliens. Well, they shoot themselves into space and they end up crashing on a planet, killing Hicks, Newt, Bishop, and Ridley survives. Well, this planet is actually a prison planet for prisoners. And it turns out all the prisoners have actually converted to a new religion. So what happens is we have Ridley stuck on this uh, prison planet with all these prisoners. And this alien, which had also been in the ship with her when she landed, uh, Facehugger, comes, wakes up, and plants itself inside of a dog or cow dead cow, whichever version you watch, either the one rated where it's a cow, or the theatrical one where it's a dog, and of course the alien pops out, um, and now we have one xenomorph wreaking havoc in a prison planet, where none of the prisoners really have weapons, and they have to figure out a way, along with Ripley, to kill it. Now here's the thing, Alien 3, a lot of people dislike Alien 3, but I really like it. I remember not liking it so much the first time I watched it, but now that I've seen the director's cut, and now that, you know, I've grown a lot, I've realized how human this film really is. All these prisoners have converted to this new religion that really keeps them from harming people, and some of them do, and you can't, and you know, you can't do that. Um, Ripley has lost everything in her life, including Newton... Hicks, and it seemed like they were building towards a relationship with Hicks in the second film. And she's just a broken woman, stuck in a prison planet. I mean, it's a really dark and depressing movie. Uh, it's actually more depressing than the first film and second film combined, because you have all these dark colors, these dark browns, dark blacks, and she's just stuck on this, you know, desolate, isolated planet with murderers, rapists, mutilators, whatever. And there's nothing she can do but, you know, help them try and kill this alien. And it is a depressing movie. It is seriously depressing. Out of all the alien films in the one in the series, this is the most depressing. It's the darkest, but it's also extremely enjoyable and it to me is a great sequel and it follows aliens perfect. Now, the sequel to that one, Alien Resurrection, doesn't do quite good a job, so...